What's up guys, I wanna talk about heart palpitation symptoms caused by anxiety. Uh, this is a very, very common symptom of anxiety. I'm surprised I haven't actually done a video over it yet. Uh, this is actually what kicked off my anxiety, uh, my panic attacks, my uh, depression, my social anxiety, my health anxiety especially. Um, started with my first panic attack and it was kicked off by heart palpitation. I had a long weekend of drinking and partying with my friends, a lot of alcohol involved. Uh, I was a chain smoker basically at that point in my life. I wasn't sleeping very much at all, very irresponsible, young and dumb. Uh, but I came back home after traveling back home and uh, I went to sleep and I woke up and I became super aware of my heart. Um, I don't know why, what made this so much different. I had been partying for a long time. Uh, for the past few years but I guess it finally caught up to me and I just became super aware of my heart and the best definition that I can give of a heart palpitation my personal opinion is just a racing thumping heartbeat uh, something that's way faster than usual maybe similar to tachycardia uh, but I just a really strong intense heartbeat something that you can really feel uh, mostly because you're super aware you're still you're quiet okay and if you think about it you probably had heart palpitations before you had anxiety. Um, think about a time that you got scared or you got spooked. Uh, you know, you almost got in a wreck or a fender bender or lightning hit in your backyard and you jumped or a dog barked, you know, real close to you and it, you know, spooked you. And then your heart just started beating really quick and it started to thump out of your chest. To me, in my opinion, that's a heart palpitation. Now, some people will say that um, it can be a flutter or skip beat type of feeling. I didn't relate too much to that, but you know, everybody's different and uh, those are the definitions that really correlate that I've seen and done my research on for heart palpitations. A racing heartbeat, uh, pounding in the chest, uh, skipped or fluttering heart, okay? So that's the definition of it. So back to my panic attack, I, I became super aware and my heart just took off. And then that's whenever everything happened, uh, the mental and physical symptoms of my first six hour long panic attack that drove me down a nasty road of health anxiety, uh, which eventually led to, you know, five to 10 panic attacks a day. I thought I had heart disease, and I graduated to every other disease in the book. I've survived every type of cancer or heart condition there is. So yeah, um, it does get better, there's hope. <laughs> but anyways, back to the heart palpitations. Uh, guys, 99% of the time, these are not dangerous. I'm not gonna lie to you, yeah, they're, occasionally and very rarely there's an underlying issue but if you go to the doctor and get that handled like I preach to all of you who suffer from health anxiety go get your EKG get your blood work done get all that stuff done they will know and figure out if you have some heart condition um, if you are complaining about these heart palpitations all the time they may actually give you a heart monitor that you you know you wear and you take for 24 hours or they can actually get a, a more consistent data um, there's that uh, but most of the time they can tell whether it's anxiety or not and then that's where it comes You know, it's up to us to actually start trusting these doctors and taking that reassurance Which I know is extremely difficult because you know, I had you know horrible issues with that in the beginning uh, It got better um, Which is which that led to my recovery whenever I actually started trusting the doctors trusting myself also uh, well actually not trusting myself because Myself and my subconscious was telling me that there was you know, something horribly wrong with me um, But you know eventually once I got my subconscious on my conscious level things started to get better But that took a lot of hard work So whenever you're having these palpitations guys the best thing that you can do of course is to work on breathing techniques You know, I, I've done a video on that four seven eight one But there are tons of breathing techniques on, on YouTube that you can look up control your breathing That's gonna slow your panic attack down it's gonna slow your breathing down it's gonna decrease the amount of oxygen that you're getting into your body it's gonna bring down your hyperventilation levels that's why um, whenever I talk to most people about panic attacks there isn't a whole lot you can do and tell a person whenever they're having one to make it stop aside from just work on breathing control your breathing okay um, there are tons of taboo things like pouring cold water on your head um, doing weird things. Um, I love to go exercise. Apparently that's a weird thing because when I tell people to do that, they don't like to hear that or they don't want to do it. But exercise is a great way to actually give your heart to a reason to beat fast and it seems more normal. Um, and eventually you'll be too tired and that adrenaline will run out of your body. 
Uh, but this, this palpitation thing, guys, it's, it's really kicked off by the stress response your body gives off whenever it's in that fight or flight response. Uh, just a lot of adrenaline going through your body and it'll kick that off. Sometimes this can happen out of nowhere. Um, I did a video on, on getting uh, anxiety symptoms when you don't feel anxious. Whenever you're caught in this vicious cycle, this pattern of anxiety, uh, sometimes it doesn't take anything you know, from your conscious mind to make your subconscious have send signals to your physical body to have symptoms. It can manifest in pain. It can manifest in things like depersonalization, okay? And it can also manifest in things like heart palpitations, increased heart rate. My heart rate was always high during that four years. My heart rate was always over 100 resting, okay? Anytime I went to the doctor, it was always 100 to 110. That was if I wasn't stressed. So just letting you know that subconscious mind, until you get that under control by working hard at it every day, it's still running the show, so don't be surprised if you're sitting there having a great day, and out of nowhere, your heart rate does bump, 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 and then you know how you start changing your subconscious mind is, okay, that's happening. Um, this isn't the first time that that's happened. The doctors told me I'm all right. Are we gonna ride this one out? Yeah, you go ahead and do your thing. You can go ahead and start beating out of your chest like that all you want, but um, I'm gonna let it go, all right? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna start making some imprints on my subconscious mind and actually put one foot in front of the other, take this day by day, step by step, have some patience, patience, and uh, start to recover. So guys, that's what you gotta do to make the frequency of these go down. Like I said, you can have these, we've had these before we even had anxiety. Uh, we just didn't think of them in a serious manner. We were like, oh, we got scared, you know, or. Um, wow, you know, something just shook me up, or I got some horrible news, and that's why my heart did it. It's more scary, you know, when it comes to anxiety, because we think, especially if you have health anxiety, you think you have some horrible conditions. So I definitely understand uh, why it can be alarming, but know that 99% of these heart palpitations are not dangerous. I'm not a doctor. This is through extensive research and through my own experience, okay? I've been, you know, I've been to several doctors, and I've talked to them, so... Um, if you're going through this, guys, I'm sorry, but you got to keep working at it every day. You got to defeat anxiety, defeat the physical symptoms, okay? And your subconscious is lagging behind your conscious, so it takes day after day after day of practicing good habits, eating a plant based diet full of, you know, green vegetables, fruits, lean meats. I wouldn't go too crazy with the pork and the red meat, or if you do, uh, make sure you get lean red meat or just smaller amounts of pork. Fish and chicken aren't so bad. Uh, just what we want to do is we want our plants and our fruits to outweigh our meat, okay? So that you're going to get most of your calories from that. As far as exercise goes, start your own pace. I understand many of you who are scared of your heart bursting out of your chest or reluctant to do exercise, you need to do it, okay? Not only is that going to help you with your anxiety in general, but it's going to give you reassurance that you're okay. Like, oh man, I just ran two miles. I must not have this horrible heart condition. Let's go for three tomorrow, or, or let's run two all week, and then next week we'll, I'll, I'll run three and then walk one, you know? You start building and building and building, and then start adding in some weight training, then add the jump rope, then do high-intensity interval training, you know? You got to just build, 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 and then you start giving yourself reassurance that things are okay. And writing in a journal, you can record your diet, uh, you can record your exercise, you can record your symptoms. What was different about today than yesterday? You know, I was feeling good today. What did I do different that might have kicked off my day on a good note, you know, that I didn't do yesterday, okay? Stay hydrated. 80% of us are chronically dehydrated. That is not good for anxiety. It's definitely not gonna be good for anxiety symptoms, okay? Stay away from alcohol, tobacco, caffeine, um, any substance, drugs. Stay away from that stuff, guys. That's gonna make anxiety worse. You get caught up in that horrible, vicious cycle. They feed off of each other uh, like I don't know, like beasts. <laughs> it's terrible. I've been down that road. It's not pretty. Some other things you can do, vitamin uh, B12 and B6 are good mood stabilizers. Make sure you get plenty of that, but you can just get that with a uh, general multivitamin, so make sure that you're doing that. Um, ASMR videos, positive affirmations, positive thinking, meditation, CBT. There are tons of different things that you can do on your own to get better, okay? You don't have to pay for therapy and counseling, you don't have to do it. Uh, that's for severe cases, just like you don't have to be on antidepressants. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you not to do it, uh, but I wish that you would try the natural way first. 
And when I say try, don't, you know, uh, halfway go into it, okay? Just go hard on it and give it a chance to actually work before you start spending your hard-earned money on antidepressants and just prolonging your anxiety issues. So that's a way on uh, how you can start making the frequency of these heart palpitations go down, that you'll improve your symptoms of anxiety, your health anxiety, your depression, your social anxiety, all of that, guys, will get better with these tips if you implement them every single day. So I hope you got some value out of that. If you did, please like the video, okay? Also, leave me a comment down below if you just want to say, hey, what's up, or if you want to give me your experience on what you've dealt with with heart palpitations. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you get updates whenever I have my videos. And also, hit the description because there are resources down there, books, workbooks, all the vitamins, all the things that you need to get over your uh, health anxiety, your depression, okay? I got things on addiction, uh, my recommended products on uh, addictions, no fat, no caffeine, all that stuff is down below in the description, so check that out. Join the Facebook group if you haven't. I will have it in the description below along with my social networks and in the pinned comment, uh, so make sure you join that. We are over 500 members. It's growing every single day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. I'm going to keep on pumping these videos out. I hope you have a great freaking day, guys. Attack today, guys.